So where we left off last time, we had set up our, uh, we got a little farm going here. We got some potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Uh, some cotton growing here. We got our stockpile here. We got our little indoor stockpile here for our food, components, medicine. Working on this uh, common room here that we're going to use for cooking, uh, preparing food, and for dining. And then what I'm hoping to do this stream is get our power set up, complete our initial research so we can have batteries and build our refrigerator, or our freezer, for so that we can store our food. Um, and I think... Yeah, I think we might get... I'm not sure how much further we'll get to that. Uh, hopefully we can continue building our initial building here, maybe add our um, bedrooms. So our folks can have individual bedrooms. We will need to add a, a hospital, like a medical bay kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to hope to accomplish today. So right now, it's nighttime. Uh, zero hours. Uh, our, our, our guys are asleep right now. It's midnight. But you can note that by the Z. So, uh, something else I forgot to mention yesterday. If you see the little clock symbol uh, on their on their portrait, that means they are idle. And if you have an instance where all of your guys are, are idle, that means they they have no tasks really to do or there's stuff that's assigned to them, uh, which means you can probably give them something to do, like harvest berries or chop wood or keep building or anything else that you're trying to do. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, I want to try to haul away some of these these blocks that we have. So you can click and drag here, highlight these blocks and click haul. Get these out of the way too and basically just clean up the area around our building. Um, we are going to expand it out. I think the, ref the refrigerator might go down here. Um, we'll just start them hauling here initially. Let's do that. Speed it up a bit. I also want to build a, a little dining room table in here. Um, let's see what we have for wood. Psychic Soothe, here's, a, here's another event. This is one of the good ones. Normally if you get a, a good one, it's in this lighter blue color. I think that's blue again. I am colorblind. Uh, I know shit for colors. Um, but th this color indicates that it's something positive that, that, that's, that, that that's happening. And this, this the Psychic ones indicate some sort of drone or some distant engine of happiness is stirring. Um, and it generally means anybody of a specific gender is going to get a bonus to their happiness. Um, we're going to go into needs and stats uh, uh, and, you know, the happiness um, of our uh, dudes here this this um, stream, I think. Um, so you guys can, can can get an idea of the needs of our guys, you know, what they what, what they need at the at, at, at any given moment, um, how their happiness is trending and all the different um, things that can impact them. So gonna get into all that uh, I'm gonna kick the speed up here another notch why not let's just go three finish building this room here we got about 250 wood we're gonna need a little bit more than that so I'm gonna go back under orders here and select chop wood again if we just highlight an area and then release you can see he's gonna er, our folks are gonna chop the trees that are ready to be chopped um, and if it's like a baby tree or something small yet yeah, that that hasn't matured all the way they won't chop it as you can see right here, if you click something, this is one that they didn't chop, and it says it's 39% grown with a 100% growth rate. So um, eventually these will get to 100%, uh, and then you can highlight it, and they will chop it. If you don't want to wait, you can always just select something and then chop wood, and they'll chop it early. But you won't get as much for that. Um, looks like we have a bear over here, I think. A grizzly bear. Um, generally, that... I don't think they attack at random. They they will attack your pets at, at random. You know, if you have like a cat or a you know just a dog or something like that, maybe they will even attack our, our wolf here. Um, but I I don't think they attack your dudes randomly. If you try to hunt them, they have a certain percentage that they will become uh, aggroed and they will come after you. Um, back to the needs thing. You can see this little meter with inside the uh, portraits up here of our of our guys. Um, it, it, that's an indication of their happiness level. So if you see this guy, it's about the halfway mark. These two are a little bit higher. These are both the women. Um, and our psychic soothe is affecting females. So they they have that boost to happiness. But our guy Pierce, I believe he's a dude, so he is not getting that, that bonus. All right. I'm going to pause. Uh, let's build our table. 
let's set up our dining room table in here. So we go to furniture. You can see there's different size tables in here. Um, I like to do the two by four. We will eventually get more colonists. Um, so I think having having a table about this big that can that we can expand on and build more chairs um, will be good to have. Oh, let's let's get our dining room chair um, while we start here. <clears throat> All right, dining chair. There are different kinds of chairs. Um, I think there are different kinds of chairs. Yeah, there's a stool here that's like a lesser quality chair. Um, if you build the dining room chair, it's it, it's uh, a little bit more beautiful, so there's a, a bonus to the room beauty. That's another thing that that, that, that can impact uh, the happiness of your, of your guys, um, if the room is ugly or not. So right now, our room looks pretty ratchet. Uh, we have no floors, it's just dirt in there. Um, I'm gonna place three chairs right there. Takes a while to construct the dining room chairs. Uh, I would think it would be quick. Someone might botch it too. Um, first, they they deliver the um, m materials to the to the, yeah. Oh, they both botched it. That sucks. So it says, you know, they failed while constructing the chair. Some resources have been wasted. So some of the resources that are left over, they they have to try it all over again. But as they keep building, our guys will um, will will get better. So let's see, so what's our food at here? 28, we still got some time. Uh, you know, they eat about maybe two meals a day, so we do have some time here with our just our, our initial food supply, um, at least to get this initial crop grown. Um, something else we need to do is to build a windmill to get power going. Uh, I need to find a good spot for that. Maybe right here is good. Let's haul these away. We're going to be able to put a geothermal one here, and I think there's one, yeah, up here too. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have really good power uh, at some point, but unfortunately we do need to start with the the windmill power. Let's see, let's go to build power. Wind turbine. Um, I don't know why they give you the, the chem fuel power generator to start with. I don't even think you have the ability to craft that um, from the outset. And then the wood fired is fine, but you just have to keep chopping wood. Um, let's see, I don't think... So you, you can select an item here, and then if you click the eye, it'll give you more information. So the wood fire generator... Let's see, does it give you any status about how much power it generates? Flammability. The points. This is power by wood. It doesn't. Something you need the wiki for, I imagine. But anyway, I think the wood... The wood generator probably. So, so the wind, the wind generator, it's uh, the power it generates is is variable depending on the wind. So, the wood generator, you're going to get a constant stream of power as long as there's wood. But the wind generator, it could vary, but when the wind is blowing at its highest, I believe it generates more power than the wood. Once we get some batteries, it's not going to really matter too much. Um, but let's put. And also, the wind turbine is one of those things that you can't move easily once you place it. You have to destroy it and then rebuild it. So, um, I'm going to build it right here. We won't have as much to chop down. As, a, as you remember, remember from the prior video, um, these white squares on either side of the wind turbine indicate the area that needs to be unobstructed. So, if there's a tree or um, a rock within this square, it's going to produce less power. Berry bushes and like these little shrubs, I think, are okay. But for trees, you do want to get those knocked down. So let's go orders again. Chop wood. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And if you if you select it, you can see these squares again, so you know what you have to remove. And I think this will be good. Let's just haul these two. All right. Speed's back up to max. We've got some things they need to haul away. What do we have for hauling? We got a one and a two. This guy's never gonna really haul because he's gonna always be researching. Let's put this guy's haul at two. So after a little while, if you've made it this far, um, which it really is not is no big feat, uh, it lets you name your colony and your tribe or your um, settlement. So, so uh, or, or faction rather. Uh, so you can just do randomize. Some of these are kind of cool. Kingless Nation of Isdalium. That sounds good. And let's see. What do we want for... What do we want for settlement? 
Owenville. Panthos. That was a good one. Onbutt. Perfect. I know some streamers like to name things for their followers and shit like that, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna just do random right now. Get rid of our work. You can see also our uh, research progress shows up here in the tab. We're about halfway done on our batteries. I'm gonna try to rebuild these chairs again. Oh, got another event, cargo pods. So this is another event that happens uh, quite a bit actually, and it can be nice. It's almost like a, a lottery ticket, um, but you get a cargo pod. Um, Detected that they crashed nearby. Perhaps something useful in the wreckage. So if you click it. Let's go jump to location. Oh, it's weed. Nice. This stuff deteriorates outdoors. Let's. Man. Can't let weed go to waste, right? Oh, that's far away too. So they'll have to march all the way down to get it. Ah, you know, we'll just leave it. We're going to grow it later. So the homegrown stuff's always better than the shit you find outdoors, right? Am I right? It says I have 42 views on my dashboard. I bet those are all me as well. I wish they could just find a way to eliminate the ones um, that are viewed by yourself. You know, if you're logged into your channel, it doesn't, it seems kind of silly to display that as a view. Our inside space comes at a premium, so that's why we're not gonna get that weed, or the smoke leaf rather, Rimworlds. RimWorld's version of weed. I feel like RimWorld has their own version of all the real drugs. So there's like, there's like a, a cocaine, there's a heroin. Um, I think there's some that are, that, that must be meth because it makes your guy all opt up and crazy. All right, we got lots of wood. Uh, we got our windmill going. Let's build our freezer. We have a doorway here. I think this is a good entrance to our freezer. We can make it pretty big. Something like this is what I'm thinking. Let's go structure, wall, wooden wall. Like a big freezer that's gonna last us a long time. There is a limit on building size. If you make the building too big, they can't do the roof. Uh, the roof will collapse or the building will collapse. Um, and that is a thing you have to look out for. Roofs, things above you can collapse. Mining, if you mine out uh, an area, like a too wide an area, the, the top part will collapse on you. So if you're mining something, it looks like you're really clearing the area, but, but really there is a roof over your head. There's like a, you're mining into the mountain. There's, there, there's a top to it. And if you mine out too much of it, the roof will collapse and it will kill your guys most of the time. So that's why if you're mining, um, and, you know, well, I'll go over this a little bit more later when, when we get there, but uh, you want to do like strip mines, you know, like um, long rows and then other rows branching off it. You don't want to mine out too much or else it'll collapse. If you're mining out a big area, like a, if you find steel or something, you want to build like wooden supports, like, you know, every every three or four blocks in just to keep the roof um, up from, from falling in. And uh, similarly, if you, you know, if someone attacks your house and they, you know, blow open a big hole in the wall here. This is a wall that's supporting your roof, and if you have guys in here, it could collapse and kill them. Um, not all the time, but it can really mess them up. So. Got our freezer built. I think maybe we'll store the batteries in there. We're almost done with our battery research. Ayaka is, uh, she's getting there. It's nice we have someone, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she's a nine on, on the uh, research. So we're gonna get our initial things researched pretty quickly, which is nice to have. Uh, let's see. We still have to haul all this shit away in here. What do we have for wood 600, that's pretty good. 
Let's build a couple air conditioners. We're gonna need at least two. So in here we can go to temperature and there's the cooler. Now you can see if you rotate there's a, a red end and a blue end to, to the cooler. The blue end is where the cold is gonna go and the red air is the exhaust. So you never want to put a cooler inside your base because then it's going to heat up this end of the room if, if we did that. So you can see it sort of outlines the room here in blue when I have it right here. Um, and then over here you can see the red. It, that means it's not going to let you build it here or it's going to make the room too hot. Um, so you want to have the coolers on the outside, the red part on the out, outdoors, just like any air conditioner. Uh, so we'll put one here and I'll put another one over here. We, we might actually even need three for this room. Um, those need steel and components. We should have enough steel. Just barely though. We're gonna need to get some more steel. We can get steel by breaking down those ship chunks that have follow, uh, fallen. Let's see if we can find one. Ship chunk. There's one down there. There's gotta be one that's closer though. Maybe there's some steel we can mine, too. There's some steel right there. What about over here? Oh, is this a steel wall? Is this a steel wall? It is! Now, here's the, the opposite event, the Psychic Drone Low, male. So, this is going to have the opposite effect of the Psychic Soothe. It's going to make any people that are affected by it, ang um, you know, not angry, but it's going to have a negative impact on their mood. And it looks like this one is only impacting males. So this is sort of the double whammy here. Um, we still, so you, you can right click on these events and they'll go away. And it looks like that the psychic drone for the, the females isn't going on anymore. Otherwise it would say so right here in the status. You can see the, the psychic drone here um, for the male, the one that just that just popped up is, is in effect now. It tells you how long it, it, it lasted, when it started. Um, and when it goes away from this area, then you know that, that, it, that it's no longer having an impact. So. Um, well, that's good they didn't botch that first air conditioner. Do they, oh, all right. All right, so we got our air conditioners here. What we want to do now is connect it with power lines. So under power, there's two There's two kinds of lines. Um, there's a, a waterproof conduit, which you can use for um, sending across uh, like little uh, rivers and streams. Um, and then there's just a regular... Uh, power conduit and these take one steel each so this is another reason why we're going to need to get some steel because we're going to need to start sending power lines all into our base um, and like I mentioned this wall is a steel wall so we can deconstruct this and reclaim the steel from it so I'm just going to select each item here on the wall and click deconstruct I think there's probably like five steel for each for each one of those ah look our battery Technology is completed. We can start building batteries to store our wind power, which is great. Let's go to the research screen. I like to pause and take a look at what's going on here. Auto door is handy. It just makes it so that the doors open and close by themselves and um, your your guys won't take as long. So when they have to open the door manually, there's like a, a brief second where they stand there and open the door. Um, but with auto doors, they'll just walk right through. Um, so that can be handy, but I generally it's not a priority. Um, again, I like to start. I like to go with the smithing and, and make sure I can get gun turrets and set up our um, uh, defenses. Uh, let's see. So we want solar panel next. A little bit more consistent power than, than the wind power. Sometimes there can be uh, like a <clears throat> like a, not a solar flare. They do have solar flares, but the um, eclipse that hides the sun, and when that happens, your solar panels won't work. We need some steel for our batteries as well. Now that, now that they cleared out the wall, now you can see that there's also like a steel floor. You can't select it, but you see if I if I hover over it, it says metal tile. Uh, and if it's like a steel wall, generally this is also a steel floor that's around it. So we can also pull this up and uh, get the steel from that too. So what, what you can do is go to architect, select floors, and then click remove floor. And if you just click and drag over this area, you can see that's all the steel floor that they're gonna pull up. Our meals are down to 14. We're gonna need to forage some berries probably here. And we got enough steel, I think, to build some power lines, so... 
if you build the line uh, next to it, it'll it will hook up to it. You don't have to build on top of it. Um, and also, again, these don't really impact the square around the wind. <clears throat> So let's build our power conduit up here. And send it up the wall here. You don't need to physically connect it to items. Uh, these are like the thicker cables that are meant to run in the walls. And if I were to put like a light in here, for example, it would automatically connect to the power cable if it's close enough. Um, when that's done, when they're done building that, I can show you how that works. Unpaused again. These berries, so these berry bushes are a good source of food to sort of get you through in, until you get your first harvest. You can see it'll show you that 80% you know, grown. Once they hit 100% grown, then you can harvest them. Um, and there's a fair amount around here. 99%, this one will be done soon. This one's ready to harvest. You can just click harvest, and it'll collect the berries. <clears throat> building our power lines, uh, what what we want to do now, now that our coolers are built, we can set the temperature that that we that we want them at. So, I immediately set it down to freezing, which is 32 Fahrenheit. In fact, we'll even I think we can go lower. Let's go to 30 to make sure that's it's definitely under 32. You can see down in the bottom left it shows you the temp after you change it here. So we're targeting 30 degrees for these coolers. So it's like got got its own little thermostat. Not hooked up yet because you still see the, the blinking power symbol. We're still building our power conduit here. And there they go. So this one's hooked up and running. And this one's running too. Now if we hover our mouse over um, this, 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 this particular area, it should give us our temp, which is on the right. You can see indoors, it's already going down. 32 right over here. So right now it's outdoors, 62, where, where my mouse is. If I hover inside, it's now 30. So it's cold in that room now. That's exactly what, what we want. So... Now we need to make our food zone in here. So let's make a stockpile zone in the entire room. Select the zone, click the storage button, clear all, and then foods. You wanna check it, have everything be in here. Priority, preferred, for food. Now this stockpile zone over here is also preferred and we also have food selected here as well. We're just gonna uncheck food. Since if they're both preferred, they will just keep the food here. But we want we want the food to be in our cooler now. So what we should see is someone move these meals from here over to our cooler now. What are we doing? We need to build batteries too, because these coolers are only gonna run while the fan is running. You can see the fan has a, or not fan, the, um, the wind turbine has a little meter with um, how fast the wind is spinning. You can see it's, it's going up right now. If we select it, we're outputting, you know, 1,200, 1,100 watts. And our grid is using 700 watts. So we have enough power plus some to uh, keep these coolers running. Since we do have that excess right now, if we had batteries, it would be storing that excess in the batteries. So when the fan, or when the wind turbine rather, um, doesn't have a strong wind blowing, it, our fan, our coolers can run off the batteries. You can see it started putting the berries that we told them to harvest in here as well. So, let's see, let's build some batteries here. Go into power, we now have the option to build battery. 70 steel, two components. We got for components, 22 components. We could build two batteries here pretty easily enough. Put them right here and right here here and since they're alongside that power conduit they should connect automatically let's see the wind has gone down and this fan has stopped working a little bit there it goes it's going up again and now you can see these batteries are built and it's already starting to get the charge see the little meter is pretty low there you go so now we have batteries great what we need now uh, our actual lamps. Right now it's pitch pitch black in this room. So let's build... Let's get our power conduit. Can I actually run it through this thing? I think I can. Up here, and up here. So if you notice, I'm keeping the power lines within the wall. Um, 
and I will get to this a little bit later once we start talking more about the beauty of certain areas, but they don't like exposed power lines within their house. As you can imagine, that um, that sounds pretty pretty gross. 